gearheads, do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a video. And if you want to check out some behind the scenes stuff before it is here on YouTube, go find us on Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk. And everything we do, including our award-winning podcast, can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. Hey gearheads, welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. And I'm Matt. And this is a 2022 Ram 1500, what? TRX. <laughs> yes. So uh, we actually have a video review of my time at this same event last year uh, as we were just getting started yeah. with the 21 TRX. Uh, but this is actually your first time in the last of the Hellcat powered beasts from Stellantis, Stellantis, however you want to say it. It's from Ram. Yes, it's from <laughs> Ram. So um, you're, you're a truck guy. You, yes. You, you got rid of a truck. You miss your truck. I do. I want this truck. Yes. <laughs> you, you want to take this one back, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah the, back the, home. Not, yeah. not back to Tawa, or, back home. Yeah. I, so yeah. you hand selected this one of a few different options we had on the yeah, course. Yeah. Safe to say this is about how you'd spec it? Uh, other than the color, yeah. Yeah? I, I, you, and you like the Ram bar? I love the Ram bar. I love the spare tire mount in the bed. The interior on this is spectacular. Very well done. A lot of attention to detail on the inside of this thing. And I, that's what I mentioned to you. It wasn't just a Hellcat slapped in a pickup. Yeah. It was a purpose-built truck inside and out. And I love that about it. I love that they have gone above and beyond with every detail of this truck. Uh, including the ram bar and the spare tire mount. Um, yeah, so spectacular. Again, uh, Hellcat powered, 702 horsepower. It is the least powerful of the bunch due to extra exhaust work and things of that nature. But by five horsepower, I yeah, mean really. Y you really don't miss it too much. <laughs> Power to all four wheels. The, there's a launch control button inside this full size truck so yes. uh yeah just wrap your head around that and then it's completely capable off-road uh which you and i will get to experience very shortly yes long awaited for you mm -hmm. fire it up hmm. you've had a lot of giggles and grins mm -hmm. with this powertrain uh maybe not in this particular vehicle but right. uh looking forward to a little bit of drive time mm. with you in this and uh you're definitely gonna make me a little motion sick this morning aren't you i'm gonna try all right matt yep 702 horsepower mm -hmm. all four wheels right lifted truck right it's gonna be a fun morning yeah yep yep oh she sounds good I'll let it do the shifting the first go around. Yeah. So, I mean, we have 17 miles an hour. Yeah. But my goodness, it's quiet in here. Yeah. Uh, that's about to change. Banshee is unleashed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first time in a TRX. It is. And uh, I want one. Probably the most anticipated uh, uh, Hellcat powered thing for you, right? Uh, probably so. Yeah. It, this is. Uh, I, s I see what people mean now. Like, you know, we did the uh, Hellcat Red Eye White Body uh, Charger. Charger and that thing at 797 horsepower, and it was just it was on Brutal. the verge of uncontrollable. It yeah. was raucous, it was loud and obnoxious. This only has 702 horsepower, only 702 horsepower. Um, but it because it's in a 6,500 pound truck, it's much more manageable, it's much more civilized and yet, <laughs> and you just called the trx civilized well i mean <laughs> more in, civilized more civilized yes. Yes. It's, it's, you know perspective on yes. all things are relative um but like good grief on-road manners like like
I can pick up. I yeah, mean, you don't really realize what it is you're piloting no. right now, right? Uh, sure, you've got a bigger ride height and wider stance. Well, and oh, TRX is everywhere. Yes. It's here, it's out on the hood. It's right here in front of me. Uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> the suede insert. Yes. Center console. And I like that too about it, right? It's not just a Ram with a lift kit and right. a 707 horsepower. 702. Or 702, excuse yes. me. Yes. So it's the least it's, powerful of the bunch. Yeah. Uh, they they took the time to make it nice in here. Yeah. And I mean, Ram has been improving the interiors on their trucks for quite a few years now. Uh, this is no exception at all. And really, I mean, this is a little above and beyond. Um, we were in the, the three quarter ton limited yesterday and good grief, such a special place to be. And this takes it another step further. Just kind of in a different direction. It's oh, yeah. definitely in a different direction, but yes, golly. Stitching, suede. And we talked about it outside, the sports bar, the yes. uh, full size spare yes. in, in the bed. So the practicality of this one is downgraded a little because you are in a full size pickup truck, but uh, that bed use is minimal. <laughs> I'm gonna pick on it again. Okay. It's only in four wheel drive. Yep. So it's an all wheel drive truck. Yep. With a two speed transfer case. Yep. That's annoying. Yeah, so it's the least powerful of the bunch, mostly due to the increased amount of exhaust uh, <laughs> <Link>. plumbing <laughs> that has to go into such a long vehicle. And uh, it's also the heaviest of the bunch, and it's only power to all four wheels. Only. Yes. Which, uh, love it or hate it, uh, it is what it is in this one. Obviously the biggest <laughs> no, it's hollering. The biggest obstacle of the TRX is its massive size. Uh, it is huge. And uh, so making tight turns and things isn't as easy as it could be necessarily. But uh, man, <laughs> this thing is just crazy. It just goes over everything. too easy. Yes, 
TRX don't care. Let's see how high on this ridge we can get. This is a little off camber corner kind of a thing. New record. You came a full tires with over the rock. Absolutely amazing. Took it off road. Yep. Took it through the mud. Uh huh. Took it up a hill that, believe it or not, is actually taller than this truck. Yeah. Nearly Final, vertical. Yeah. Final thoughts. Uh, ain't care. Ain't care. It just, it's a lot like the 392 Wrangler in that way. Yeah. Where you put it in manual one, you lock the rear diff, you put it in four low, and point it in their direction. It, it just, it goes over everything with ease yeah the one pedal driving is the brake pedal again right <laughs> I, I, absolutely it yeah. is yeah. and uh i mean the, the biggest limitation on this thing is how long it is yeah um it i heard the hitch drag just yeah. ever so slightly coming yep. up and out of the ravine and uh and also then trying to make hill too yeah trying trying to make the uh the tight turn um down in the bottom down there it uh it, it, i had to back up i mean yeah. but i had to back up at the gladiator too so you know, uh, I, I would much rather have 702 horsepower under the hood in this and have to back up than be in the Gladiator for so sure. So going back to your uh, description earlier, it's more than just a Hellcat thrown under the hood. Yes. It's the entire package. And yes. when you put the added suspension, the better tires, and that massively powerful <laughs> engine, yeah, it, it walked over everything. It actually made some of our footage look incredibly boring oh yeah we we've seen vehicles teeter-totter on the articulation picking tires and all kinds uh, yeah, of stuff you, you just walked right over that uh ain't care <laughs> you are the fastest uh i have seen yet go across cobblestone road right and uh, ain't yes, care. <laughs> that's what it's built for <laughs> it so went. if you want to see more videos like this from us be sure and hit that subscribe button down below ring the bell so you get notified every time we post find us on facebook and instagram for all the behind the scenes footage and to catch what we're driving before it's here on youtube again check out everything we do at gtgaragetalk.com including our podcast and until next time bye bye oh boy <laughs> <laughs>